All right, it's time for the latest edition of Your Podcasters. This is the podcast that hopefully answers some of the questions you may have. I hope to pique your interest, actually, to be honest with you, into using my services, whether you want to start your own podcast or maybe um, take advantage of some marketing opportunities for podcasts through other people's podcasts. That's my goal here. And I like to bring in people that I've interviewed before or been on different podcasts so they can give you their impression of the whole process. So today we've got Pamela in. Can we say your last name? Sure. Pamela Cool, K-U-H-L. And what do you do, Pamela? I represent a Napa winery. I do guided wine tastings and things like that. And Pamela and I did a podcast together promoting her business. Was that last week, two weeks ago? Yeah, it's two been, weeks ago. Yep. been a couple of weeks, and I feel like I had to twist your arm to do it. Yeah, I was a little nervous doing it, honestly. <laughs> you were. I think you were a lot nervous. Yeah, probably Why? a lot nervous. What, what were you worried about? Making a fool of myself, maybe. <laughs> okay, and this is one of, that's one of the things that I think everyone is worried about. And I'll be honest with you, I was on radio for close to 25 years and hosted radio shows every single day for four hours. And when I did my first podcast episode, just me and the microphone, I was a nervous wreck. And that's after 25 years of experience in radio. And so I can understand the nervousness. And I think that, well, I know for a fact, because research tells me, and I'm not talking about my own research, like professional research companies will tell you that that's the biggest fear that people have when starting their own podcast is they're nervous, they're afraid that they don't have anything to say, they're afraid that even if they do think they have something to say, no one else is going to care. And that's just, once you get over that fear, that concern, it makes things a lot easier. And there's a couple ways to do that. So let me ask you this, Pamela, are you more or less nervous doing this one, this episode, than you were in the last one? Has it gotten a little easier for you maybe or not? Uh, a little bit, okay. yeah. And as you do more and more, it's going to be a breeze. Okay, if you and, say so. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Pamela, I used to call you sneaky funny, but you're just funny. You've got a great oh, sense of humor. And now you put the pressure on yeah, me. I know. <laughs> I got to be not nervous and funny. That's right. So. But uh, I, can, I can tell you this, that there's a couple ways to overcome that fear. And just, it's a legitimate fear or nerves or however you want to put it. And they're legitimate. Your feelings are going to be legitimate, whether you need to be afraid or not. If you are, that's a legitimate concern. And one of the ways to overcome that fear is to understand a couple things. The Good first transition. thing to understand is the people listening to the podcast episode, they're listening because they want to hear you. They're not listening because they want to criticize. The people they are choosing to download the podcast, they want to hear what you have to say. So there's no real reason for you to be worried because the people listening, they're not critics. They're your friends. They're people who think that you have enough to offer that they're going to download a podcast episode for you, of yeah. you. Okay. So you're talking to your friends. Yeah. The second thing, and this may be 1A and 1B, is that right now we're recording a podcast, which means we don't have to upload it. So at the end of the day, if we decide, whoa, that was embarrassing or we don't like the way it sounded, we don't have to upload it. So there's no pressure. Okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. But so there's no, no pressure at all. And if we don't like it, we just don't upload it. No one ever has to hear it. Yeah. Okay. So that should take some of the stress off of you. Yeah, it does. Well, and you're very conversational, so you and make it very is. comfortable. <laughs> and that, that's kind of the second thing is it's just a conversation. It's not a formal presentation or anything like that, especially at least the way I feel about it is people, a lot of people listen to these things to get to know the host and his guest on a personal level. And that's the way I like to use podcasts is it's not me doing a show. It's me letting a potential client, and hopefully if you're listening to this, you're thinking about um, starting a podcast or you're thinking about marketing your business through a podcast that I already produce. 
And I want you to get to know me on that level where you can trust me, you can like me, and you can know that I'm going to try and do my best to deliver for you. So that's what I use a podcast for. So there's no point in me doing this big presentation because it's not a show. As a matter of fact, if you look at like my logo and all my, all my, all my, my logo is black and white because I'm not about, I mean, if you want, if you want me to produce a show for you, I can do that. But I really am more about getting to know people and letting people get to know me. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. And um, I can definitely see that. I've gotten to know you just in a short time. So definitely everyone who does a podcast with Mark is, is says how great he is and how easy you make it. So, And now yeah. if you want to do a show, we can do that too. But yeah. um, people have different reasons. People have different objectives they're trying to to meet and one of the things about you pamela that i think is um and don't take this the wrong way i hate it when he says that one of your greatest strengths is your personality and i think the more and i'm saying i'm watching it happen it's really cool for me to watch what's going on with you i don't even know if you realize it but we're both members of the allen fairview chamber of commerce I've been a member for a little bit longer than you. And watching Pamela come in to the chamber, it's been fun for me to watch the way you relate to people and the way people relate to you and to watch at least, I mean, I don't don't want to get into your business part of it, but on the personal relationship side, you've done a very good job of people getting to know you and getting to like you and watching what happens after those meetings where people are coming up to you and asking you for your card. Saw it happen today. Yeah. Um, And it's cool to watch. And that's one of the things I think podcasts can do for people because the example that I'm using, the Allen Fairview Chamber of Commerce on Tuesday mornings has a meeting where there's about 60 or 70 people in there. And a lot of times 50 of those 60 people or 55 of those 60 people are the same people that showed up last week and the, they were there the week before. So you get the chance to develop relationships. And a podcast is going to be listened to by a lot more than 60 people. And you get to develop that relationship with a lot more people that you don't have to be face-to-face with. And they get to know you. They get to know what you're about. And then that way, when they meet you, they have already they in their mind have already established a relationship with you because you're just they've gotten to know you through the podcast. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I mean, think of all the, you know, even television shows or radio shows you listen to where you feel like you have this relationship with the host, right? Yeah. Isn't that weird, too? Because you never met the host. I know, but you feel like they're like one of your best friends and you're like sad when they stop podcasting or leave the show, etc. So I'm not sure if I will be as good at it as I need to be, but (laughs) it's fun to try. Just be you. It's That's kind all you have of fun. To do. Yeah. I mean, how do you handle those meetings on Tuesdays? You're just yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, you know, it's what one of the biggest fears uh, is speaking, public speaking, right? Um, so you just kind of have to uh, take a deep breath and move on and it gets easier each time. I'm sure this would too. Well, I'll tell you this I don't trust people who say they're not scared to speak publicly. Yeah. Because even the most polished speaker is going to.